coffee understand what caffeine does. I'm no different from any other American. I love a good coffee after I wake up. In fact, I adore coffee bubbling in my coffee maker throughout the day and sometimes I also create the flavor even after having had dinner. Unfortunately, dependent on your body, your reaction to the caffeine will vary. This can mean the difference between a cup of coffee at night or a sleepless night of tossing and turning. This one of the main reasons why I keep a supply of decaf in my kitchen. If I do need that quick taste, I can brew some coffee without suffering the intolerable insomnia associated with caffeine. My other backup for those times when I have run out of decaf and I crave a quick coffee at night is Dunkin' Donuts. They brew a decaf that has all the flavor of the regular brew, but without the concentrated caffeine levels that will wire up my nerves. I've even wandered out to get the iced variety when it has been too hot for my normal drink, and because I just have to have that delicious flavor running over my tongue. Dot coffee beans have the natural molecule called caffeine built in. I suppose this is more fantasy than reality because you can get whole grinds and beans from stores. I strongly imagine that the process involves the entire bean and not just the water. However, it is my best bet for coffee lovers like myself who have to avoid that dreaded caffeine. Dot I do worry that with the flavors of regular and decaf coffee being so much alike that the coffee houses may give me regular accidentally. I avoid this concern by keeping a constant supply of decaf in my kitchen. Without that morning boost of caffeine, I have forked out $4 only to continue to dose the day away. Whatever the case I do adore coffee. Don't you?